god, you're such a visco girl. What does that even mean? My cousin identifies as a visco girl and has really been freaking my aunt out. Well, to understand what a visco girl is, we need to go back in time. This is Visco. It's a photo editing and sharing app created in 2011. Visco, containing the letters V-S-C-O, stands for the Visual Supply Company. As you can see, the original purpose of the app was to make editing and sharing photos more accessible to photographers. Over time, the app became more and more popular and began turning into a commonly used social media platform. The app features many different filters and adjustment options that other editing programs offer for a price. Starting in 2015, it was common to see a link in a lot of girls' bios that leads directly to their Visco accounts. This proving that Visco is a largely used app, so it is no surprise my cousin wanted to just fit in with everyone else. We will use my Visco account as an example of what you will typically find when you follow the link in people's bios. As we scroll through, you will start to notice a trend of pictures that are posted. The most common pictures you will find on your peers' Visco accounts are pictures of pets, friends, selfies, landscapes, and art. These type of pictures are quick snapshots that you can take on your phone, which is why everyone takes them and posts them. Therefore, they are considered to be typical, and people who post them are labeled as such. Over the years, Visco has become very common, and a popular aesthetic or a type of girl has evolved from it. Therefore, Visco itself has evolved to describe said girl. Therefore, Visco girl has come into existence. Flash forward to 2019. Welcome to Build Your Own Visco Girl. Step one, your human will need an oversized t-shirt. Step two, she will now need the shortest synthetic shorts you can find. Don't worry, they're still under there. Step three, white sneakers of any sort will do. Feel free to add some Visco Girl accessories. Step four, this may be the most important part, folks. Give her those scrunchies. She must have at least three scrunchies to be considered Visco Girl. Step five, hydration is key. And for your Visco Girl, drinking from a hydro flask is the only way. Step six, she needs a bag to put all those hydro flasks in. Make it a North Face. Step seven, your human must be taught the Visco Girl language. And oh. Step eight, give that girl a Visco. Congratulations, your human is now a Visco Girl. The Visco Girl identity has raised some concerns with parents who are unaware with the term, especially since Visco Girls are often associated with Instagram baddies. As you can see from these images, Instagram baddies are equipped with razor sharp eyeliner, full eyebrows, and revealing clothes. They are known for heavily advertising their fitness and diet routines along with their problematic attitudes, which is dangerous behavior for young girls to witness and participate in. However, Visco girls are just trend-following girls who are having light-hearted fun and saving the turtles one metal straw at a time. How would you describe a Visco girl? You know, they're just teenage girls expressing themselves, drinking lots of water in their hydro flasks, uh, putting up some messy buns of scrunchies. They're just being themselves and staying with the, the kids. The trends? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, I would definitely let my child express themselves in the way that they want. It's not about letting my child be a Visco girl. It's about letting my child express that they are openly without me judging them. So that is why I would let my child be a Visco girl. So would you let your daughter be a Visco girl and why? I would because I think it's a very creative app and it's doesn't have likes on it, so I think it's important not to care about likes. And then my daughter can be very creative with her editing and her photography skills. But like the type of girl, you think it's like okay for little girls to like say they are? Yeah, I think so. I don't see anything bad in the images that they portray. Yeah. Yeah. 
I would let my daughter be a Visco girl because um, I have a, a Visco uh, at Matt Drizzle and I would be able to monitor everything she posts. Do you think being a Visco girl is harmless or do you think it's a bad thing? I think it's harmless because it's kids just expressing themselves and it's what's very popular right now. So it's just <laughs> them being the trend. Yeah. Uh, I would definitely let my child be a Visco girl because I think an important part of growing up is like experiencing different identities and exploring who you are and if that's something they want to do to try to figure out how they need to express themselves and I would definitely let them do it. Well, how would you describe a Visco girl? Mm. We're like trendy, hydroflask, hydro scrunchies. Yeah. And tries you, hard, uses the app. Yeah. And do you think that it's like a bad thing to be a disco girl? No. No? It's just not right. Yeah, there's nothing wrong with that. Yeah.